It's not easy to make music, you know, and it's not easy to to compete with all the what's going on that it's going on right now, you know. So I always try to be myself, and I just when I play music for the crowd, then is when I realize what they like. But I don't do what they like; I do what I want them to like. <laughs> With these guys, but they are not allowed to be on, yeah. you know, they are super famous, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to have interviews, but they don't need it. <laughs> the world is full of good places to play. Brazil, for example, it's amazing to play there. It's like 80% girls on the dance floor, which makes it really sexy to play. You can play sexy beats and whatever, whatever you want. Right now, United States, it's amazing. Unbelievable. Hey guys, this is David Torren, you're watching Storm the DJ. Today's era is about EDM. Uh, nightclubs uh, that are booming uh, is the phenomenon of the EDM business. So we we're happy to be part of it with Marcus Schultz, who is the king of trance. We did the entire sound system. Uh, we had John Lyons from Los Angeles design the sound system here. It's an Avalon sound system, similar to the one that's a space in Miami when it first started. Uh, so it's known to be the Lamborghinis of sound system. <laughs> We have a great light system that was designed by Walter Allman. He designs the majority of the nightclubs in the state of Florida. Uh, the combination of both turned up to be uh, exactly what we wanted it to be. We wanted it to be a spot that would provide the same atmosphere the South Beach would, with not paying the prices of South Beach. But when we looked at the design of the place with the architect, uh, that the safest way to go is to go with the cold sushi sashimi. Uh, and when we found the chef uh, Jay from Zuma, it made it even easier because I love Zuma, it's one of my favorite sushi places in Dubai and uh, in London and in Miami in the Epic building. So we stole them. So we brought them here and now we have Chef Jay with us uh, providing food late night. I don't want to be the 5 p.m. sushi place, I want to be the 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. sushi place. And that's what we do, we provide sushi all night, late night. Marcus Schultz, you wouldn't be able to touch for a club that seats six, seven hundred people. He plays to fifty thousand audience plus. Mm -hmm. 
Marcus, whenever he's in town, if he's out of town, which is a lot, or all, all, all over the world, but whenever he's in town, the first stop he's going to make is uh, our club, his club. We wanted the DJs to be part and, and feel close to their trance lovers or EDM music lovers. So we redesigned it and we raised, uh, we designed the DJ booth, it's about 22 feet, DJ booth right in the center, close to the people and we designed a booth even inside the DJ booth so you can be that close to them if you want to be. You can sit right there with them and experience the DJ experience with them. I want people to walk in, be able to text me and say, I'm downstairs. And I say, you're welcome, come up. Take the time, stop by and say hello. You don't have to buy anything, just look at the facility, say hello to the DJs and get to listen to the music and the sound system here and you will stay. There's no doubt about it in my mind. First day grand Oh, sounds good. You don't get that very often. Wow, you know, I've always been um, classified uh, as a trance DJ. Um, but, you know, the trance music that I do isn't uh, your typical trance. It's not your uh, rainbows and unicorn trance music, is what they, what they say. Um, I've always been labeled as more like the Pink Floyd of trance. I, my, my music is a lot more darker. Um, the melodies are a little bit more darker. Um, but the thing is, uh, when I play at these giant festivals, uh, you know, I played in front of 100,000 people, 50,000 people, you know, all the big festivals. And when I play at those festivals, it's like a, I really bring the hammer, you know, bring, uh, bring lots of tension and, and drama to my sets. I started off as a, as a break dancer, actually. Um, so I started off on the other side of the DJ booth. Um, and I think that's what uh, makes me uh, so unique is, um, you know, when I'm DJing, when I'm playing, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm playing from a dancer's point of view. It's like, what do I want to hear next? What do I need to groove to? Um, even when I'm in the studio, I, I focus in on, on those moments on the dance floor that just kind of like, you know, put the dance floor into a, into a frenzy. And the ironic thing is my father was also a musician. I, had, I uh, didn't meet my real father until five years ago. And uh, when he told me his life story, he was a drummer in a band. And uh, after he was a drummer in a band, he was a DJ. So uh, this whole time, you know, me and my, uh, my father have, uh, you know, it's kind of, it's in the blood. And, uh, you know, like I said, it, it, right then and there, I just had this feeling come over me, like this is what I've been put on this planet for. Music has taken me all over the world, and um, and I've met some terrific people. Different, uh, you know, experienced so many different cultures. Um, so I consider myself one of the lucky ones because there's a lot of very talented people out there that just haven't had the break. Um, so I, I consider myself very fortunate, and I never take this for granted. I am Marcus Schultz, and you are watching Storm the DJ. gravitate towards, you know, beautiful hooks, beautiful melodies, uh, hypnotic grooves, you know, something you can get lost to, and if they got beautiful vocals, then it's even more merrier. So I, I tend to mix it up a lot and take people on a musical journey, uh, take myself on a journey because I get I vibe off the ground. You want to play somewhere that has, you know, always say, best clubs in the world are the ones that have amazing promoters, amazing sound system, and amazing crowd. If you take one away, then you're not going to have a good party. And Griffin obviously is one of those, one of my favorite clubs to play at, because you, you, you tend to have a more close and personal relationship with the crowd. My favorite places to play, again, like with, with this, this kind of music, anywhere could be your favorite place, as long as the three elements I told you about are there. So I could be in Ohio, and it would be my favorite place. Um, but you know, over the years, I've sort of grown accustomed to like certain areas always delivering for me and I'd be able to do the same thing. Obviously Florida, Miami, Fort Lauderdale is one of them. I always love coming down here. I mean, people just get it. You know what? 
as a, as a DJ, like every record that you play, it's sort of like a chapter in a book or some of the pages in a chapter in a book. So when people get excited, it becomes like a page turner. They want to see what's going to happen next. And you feel like, what can I do next just to surprise them, to excite them, educate them, entertain them. So when you engage like that, it's one of the most amazing feelings on the planet. Get ready for a surprise. That's it. You know, just just trust that you're gonna end up in a good place. Hey everyone, this is Sharab. You're watching Storm the DJ. I'm Jeff. I go under the name of Dash Berlin. I'm not from Berlin, as you may suspect. I'm from Amsterdam, from Holland, and uh, I DJ and I make music. Is this the way I think we all love what we do and we're all passionate about it. And um, it's just one big party. It, it, it started when I got these uh, cassette tapes from my sister. She used to be a, a go-go dancer in clubs. And uh, she brought home these this mixes, these live mixes from the DJs from the party she was dancing on. And uh, that was just really cool. And she brought me these notes with, hey, uh, enjoy these tapes. And got all signs of the DJs and everything. And I started to play those cassette tapes. And uh, I got this second hand turntable of one of my friends and um, that's when I bought one of my first records uh, and I started to try to make mixes with those tapes alongside uh, the records trying to pitch that in a way so it was sounding uh, somewhere equal and um, that kind of uh, uh, started uh, electronic music for me. Be before that I used to play drums so that's where the 4x4 beat comes from. The US is definitely the, the place to be right now. Uh, everybody who says not, that's that's not really uh, that's not really true. I think that one is lying because it's it's really blowing up. Uh, it, it seems that US has been kind of a sleeping giant when it comes to EDM. Everybody's open and just here to enjoy the music. is an amazing club. Uh, 
unfortunately this is only my second time here so I was really looking forward to this one um, I think it's on a really special location Miami um, uh, last time I was here was completely crazy <laughs> I really enjoy um, hanging out with, uh, with, with fans on my social media, on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram. Some of you guys I know personally very well, following me everywhere, coming to every event, also outside of US. Um, I wouldn't be sitting here uh, without you guys. And I really, really am happy that I am in this position because of you. And I will never forget it. Thank you so much. Hey guys, I'm Dash Berlin and you're watching Storm the DJ. Can I can I um, can I drink some water? Yes. Or does it look like no, uh, it a bit? Yeah, uh, like natural. Okay, it's that's perfect. perfect. It's supposed okay. to be at home. That's perfect. I started when I was like 12. Like I was really young, and I had some older friends, and they were like um, playing playing this techno and house music in this uh, youth center. 